Hamilton told me to reappear commission and 10% told me go to hell. So I will continue to listen to what the country has, what the country wants, what the country demands. As it is at this time, I am seeing a massive um, demand by the country wherever I go. Um, from person, even when um, the ketchup and the mustard colors, uh, they have, there has been a massive demand for a, a new change. We need positive change in this country. And I think the, the country, they are fed up of the ketchup and mustard. I think what the country needs now is positive change and dynamic leadership. Is, is it there? To the fallen, oh, yeah. lost and trying to prevent me from getting the seat of commissioner of police. So he could, while he'll put focus on that, I will be looking at Keith Rowley's seat. Keith Rowley has proven to be a total failure as a prime minister and a member of parliament. They, he has not visited his constituency in years. I intend to show Keith Rowley how to be a member of parliament and I intend to show him how a prime minister is supposed to act. Well, you're listening. I hope you're listening. I hope you're hearing Trinidad and Tobago. I am going to take your calls when I come back from the Royal Castle meal of the day. I'll take your calls, giving you the opportunity to share your views. A lot is being said in the public domain. Hmm. This season of Lent, get more options from Royal Castle with its three tasty meal specials. Meals made with the freshest fish, seasoned with the castle's appetizing trendy ingredients, and cooked to golden perfection. Choose from the fish combo, two succulent pieces of fish, one side and a 16-ounce soft drink, or the fish sandwich combo of a tender, tasty sandwich, one side and a 16-ounce soft drink, or even a flavorful veggie combo option of a sandwich, a side and a 16-ounce soft drink. Get more options from Royal Castle, our culture our taste for lunch. Thinking of what to have for lunch or dinner? Here's a meal tip from Royal Castle. Lots of us these days are at the gym, toning up, or into health and fitness of some kind. Maybe you're a vegetarian or fasting and need an alternative. Why not try Royal Castle Veggie Burger? The wholesome patty is made with oats, lentils, chana, potatoes, and carrots, and all Royal Castle's local flavors. Plus, it's topped with fresh salad and tomatoes, all inside a soft, warm bun. Give it an extra kick with the Royal Castle famous pepper sauce. Ask for it alone or as a combo with any side and a 16-ounce soft drink. It's the Royal Castle Veggie Burger. Our culture, our taste. What goes in is a local something that makes it all, that makes it all taste better. It's the flavor of our culture. Come from here, come from there, and everywhere is the special flavor that's made to savor at the Royal Castle. the unique flavor of our culture at Royal Castle. That was today's meal tip from Royal Castle. All right, so we want to thank Royal Castle for 
that meal tip for today. I have some voice notes I'm going to play. I'm going to take some calls from you. 342-0081-77117. I'm giving you all opportunity to weigh into the conversation. I don't really have much to say. You know? I'm being honest with you guys. I really don't have much to say. Because, you know, when I start to talk, people just get vexed. Well, positive change. Gravity really certainly won't. Let me take it back. Gravity certainly won't want me. No way. No time. Your behavior in the past few months, sure, not like a party for you. Like back and I like chaos. Mm -mm. No way, Jose. I locked on on this thing, Google. It is very, very clear that Gary Griffith loves power. He power hungry and he would bad talk and do anything to get back in power. But he would never be the commissioner of police again. I always support Wade Hayes, the watchman. And Gary Griffith. Three things I want to say to him. Broken down that tree. Yeah, big man. The skinny program, good program, but on the news, I hear something they with Tobago with the Hindu society keeping some kind of celebration. All of a sudden, now everybody in love with Tobago. Really? Seriously? They don't have a man and people racing goat and crab again? <laughs> Me and them. And Gary Griffith. Three things I want to say to him. Broken down latrine, a slingshot, and a bigness full of Jack Spiner, a.k.a. Jeb. Full in the blanks. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good morning, Pastor Google. Morning, Pastor Google. I see we are on one of one of my favorite topics. But Pastor Google, I know I'm getting bashed left, right, and center. And I will forever say it again. I do not care what people want to say or wants to bash me and and say all what I want. Everybody has their own opinion. And what I am saying, Pastor Google, yes, there were some right and with, yes, there are some wrong. They're doing the investigation and let the chips fall where they where, where it may. If he do wrong, put them before the court. Right? But we cannot be one-sided that we must be because I am a pe PNM and Dr. Rowley say XYZ I am to believe. A pastor Google, there are some things that I find pretty a little fishy. And I would like to get some more depth in it. And as I said, I'm not too um too old to learn things. As I say, just as how you will Google things, I will Google things myself. Because as I say, in my other profession, you have to Google things to get proper information. And Pastor Google, we will we as a people out here, we would never know the whole truth and nothing about the truth. We would never, never know. Yes, but uh, let me learn. Everybody, people know. Gary is not my favorite person. Gary is not my favorite person. I thank him for some of the things that he do in the police service. I thank him for some of the things that he do in the police service. And I find between Dr. Rowley and Gary Griffith, two of a kind, things could have been better well handled that we, the public, didn't have to know. And as the man said, he didn't want him again. When he applied, they didn't bound to pick him. When he applied, they didn't bound to pick him. But don't try to throw the man under the bush, and we cannot vex if the man wants to defend himself. Whether we believe it, yes or no. And Pastor Google. Pastor Google. To be going the house here. Pastor Google, I am not interested in the tit for tat between Dr. Rowley and Gigi. And who 
who are more famous than who. That is not what I'm interested in. You know what I'm interested in, Pastor Google? Knowing that it is baffling me. And if the public could help me along that line and send these few questions to me at Pastor Google, it will ease my mind. You're telling me that you're bringing a bill into the parliament that when you bring a, um, a, you have a commission to select a, um, a commissioner that there would be no interference with the parliament. Right, Pastor Google? But I'm not seeing that way. Pastor Google, I... see that there were interference and if it is that here all well, the fallout i love her out of gg he took from common up and he's there on the merit list they didn't have to say let him but i was saying when you you, you pick a commission and they of themselves pick out of who of the merit list the boy long commissioner x um deputy commissioner y then they forward it to the to the president the president of herself now will push you rubber stamp or wherever and then forward it to the parliament and the parliament now would have been the one just announcing who is the commissioner and the deputy commissioner I thought was along that line but no pastor google it don't seem so to me i'm not on the tit for tat with with gary with gary Griff fit and who popularity and whatever yes there are some things i like about what gary griffith was all about and there are some things that i do not like yes i am a pnm and i'm for dr Rolly, but that doesn't mean to say that he could not i can't be disenchanted in somebody thing that my prime minister is doing same as pnm supporter are saying that disenchanted in some of things but this is something that i have a concern with and if my concern could be met well pastor google well, i will be good and if um gg do something wrong and the evidence is here bring him before the court and let good afternoon pastor google because I am safe. Good afternoon, Pastor Google. I want to finish pretty voice, no, please. No better, okay. no better for. So, Pastor Google, that is all I am concerned about as a concern. Citizen, not a matter of no liking, no GG or anything like that. And yes, sometimes I find he just talk too much. But then when the man no talk, other people will be calling him out and say, I'm not, um, we're not hearing the man. And then when you hear the man and they don't like what he's saying, they're saying that um, he, he should have keep him out shut. Damn, if you do that, if you don't, somehow we don't know what we want. Okay, Pastor Google, thank you. Right, so I'm going on I'm going back to the phone lines. Now I got the other I got the other part of what Mr. W of, of of Watchman's comments on Mr. Kai Griffith. I'm going to play um the part two. So I played part one earlier on. I'm gonna play part two before I leave. Alright? Go back to the phone lines. Hello, good afternoon. Hello? I got a song and soft, so. Really? Are you Google? I hear you now. Okay, let me say a pleasant good afternoon to your listeners as well. Google, now I'm listening to your program, right? With yeah. respect to um, 
former commissioner of police, Gary Griffith. Yes. And I'm listening to any comments, particularly that. And she's putting a lot of misinformation out there. And it is because she's listening to Gary and she is uh, believing in what Gary is saying. But for anybody to make a sensible contribution with respect to the embryo that has taken place with the appointment of a commissioner and the police service commission, one has to read and get the facts. One of the facts in the matter is the legal notice. The legal notice, which was surreptitiously done to circumvent the process of the appointment of a commissioner of police and Gary Griffith would have been appointed through the legal notice. So they would have a circuit regular process that would help you for the appointment of a Any query with regards to any interference, Gary Griffith and the Attorney General must tell us how it came about. You see, all this is a nonsense about what Gary say, and Gary just only talking, 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 and people that read it and listen, that ain't gonna work. The but but you know, but but. It's a key word here. Thank you very much, Google. Uh, wait, now, nah, where you going? Hello? 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 Yes, I want to know where you're going. Hello? I'm calling you back. Okay. All right. All right, so we're going for the COVID-19 update, and I'm going to call back. I'm going to... Because let me tell you something, eh? You see me? Until I get my... I get, I, <laughs> I get enough abuse for... You know, the last interview I had with Mr. Griffith, <laughs> I asked all those questions, you know. If you all could recall the interview I had, I asked all those questions, you know. Well, some of you all didn't remember the questions I asked, and I always see it, and I'll see it today. We must forget, and we must forgive very fast. That is one of our biggest problems. Kola, going for a, a, a COVID-19 update. This is the Street 919 FM COVID-19 updates. In case you missed it, the latest COVID positive cases in TNT as of March 14, 2022. Stands at new positive cases, 218. Total active cases, 13,953. Total recovered patients, 115,512. Total positive cases for COVID-19 as of March 2020 to present, 133,151. Follow the Ministry of Health COVID-19 protocols. Wear your mask, sanitize, social distance, and avoid gatherings. A message from The Street 919 FM. Entertainment, information, conversation. All on Street 91.9 FM. The official station that defends the nation. So hear what? I'm going to play Mr. Watchman and then I'm going to call back. I'm going to call back the caller. And um, and because I want to, I, 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 <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe I should give up my time on radio, boy. I feel so. Give up my time on radio because, <sighs> what's what it is, Mr. Watchman? Yeah, I'm going to play Mr. Watchman for you. Listen to what Mr., this is part two to Mr. Watchman. All right, so I want to play part. I want to play part two of Mr. Watchman. So if you're calling me on WhatsApp, you're going to interrupt the the, the the voice note of Mr. Watchman. All right, so all my WhatsApp callers, 
if you call me on WhatsApp, you're going to stop the the, 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 the the recording of Mr. Watchman. So I'm not taking any calls right now. I'm going to play part two of Mr. Watchman's um, response to the interview and to the information that is going out there up with Mr. Gary Griffith. So we're listening to Watchman right now. This is the Watchman and part two of my analysis of the ongoing saga between Gary Griffith and the Prime Minister Keith Rowley. Gary Griffith, in his most recent interview, made a very alarming accusation against the Prime Minister. He said, in effect, that the Prime Minister was jealous or became jealous of Gary Griffith's public popularity through some unscientific poll that was conducted that showed that he was more popular than the Prime Minister. And the people whispered in the Prime Minister's ears and the Prime Minister changed his mind and that he was not really disappointed with Gary Griffith in the beginning. So much so that the Prime Minister instructed or told or informed or met with the Attorney General and made the Attorney General draft the law to change the law in order to make Gary Griffith act as commissioner. And I recall in the past, I raised this issue and asked for the Attorney General to say something as to why a law was drafted to benefit one man as opposed to all other citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. And Gary Griffith hinted at it then, but now he's making it clear that it was the Prime Minister who did that. So the, he is basically accusing the Prime Minister of attempting, or not attempting, but actually circumventing the, the Constitution of Trinidad and Tobago in order to make Gary Griffith acting commissioner and to pave the way for his continued service in the post. And it's only now, after he became afraid of, of Gary Griffith's power, that he is attempting to bring him down. Now, I would like to think that if this is in effect true, there are questions I would ask. How did Gary Griffith know that the Prime Minister said that? Was he present? Was he told this by the Attorney General or any other person who was present when this alleged conversation took place? Because for me, if it is true, it raises some very troubling questions about the Prime Minister's own um, analysis of, 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 of events and issues and whether he was in fact in bed with Gary Griffith not literally of course you know I mean figuratively and that Gary Griffith only became persona non grata because of the Prime Minister's jealousy If it is not true, would the Prime Minister or the Attorney General take any action against Gary Griffith? Is not such an accusation defamatory on the face of it? I am asking because I would like to hear the response of the Prime Minister and the Attorney General with respect to this matter. Because it again places the, the Attorney General in bad light, in a not so favorable light. So, is this a case of, of, of just pure jealousy on the part of the Prime Minister? Somebody has to explain that legal notice, which from the very beginning I felt and said was bad law. And now we are getting some things basically from one 
one of the horse's mouth. So, I would like the other horses in this race to have a say. Because this is very, very damaging to the Prime Minister, in my opinion, and to the Attorney General more so. Because, you know, Gary seems to have a closeness with certain people in the ruling party. And it was interesting during his interview when he said he would speak to, 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 to um, Stuart Young when he was at, um, Minister of National Security at least 10 times a day. But he wasn't so inclined to speak to Fitzgerald Hines when he became Minister of National Security. Was Minister Hines a lesser minister in Gary Griffith's eyes? What was the difference between the both persons? They both have law degrees and they are both senior members of the party. The only difference I'm seeing here is that one is a, um, a dark-skinned Rasta man from Lavant Hill and the other one is of a different hue. So what was the difference? This one I would like Gary to say. What was the difference? And what was he told, if anything, by Stuart Young and by the Attorney General, Paris Alwari? And the beat goes on. It's a good thing I play in a voice note. How will you listen in it? Like I play in a voice note, and it's that me who said it. You know what I'm saying? To all of you on the Facebook and YouTube, it's a voice note of Mr. Watchman. Where head is who I play in? Don't go back and say, Google say. Because my hand actions just want to remind all you of when I was interviewing Gary Griffith. In England, oh, look, get upset. You remember that? Hey, look at you, Trinidad and Tobago. Big questions, big statements, boy. Very interesting. I have nothing to say. I go into the phone lines. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. <sighs> Scott. Google, are you hearing me? Loud and clear. Very well. And again, good afternoon to your listeners and your viewers. Google, it is very critical for people as a society. It doesn't matter if you have a name if you have a formal education or not, common sense was made before. So it is important that we pay attention, we listen to the news, we read, so that we can have the facts. And I am saying today, Google, that the issue surrounding it, he could parrot the best more than stuff. Every new country of Canada has to go. Gary Griffith tell us if he was aware of the limited that was put in place months before, um, maybe about a year ago, in order to become the commissioner of police without going through the formal process. He must tell us, because of my understanding, Gary Griffith would have been made commissioner and the cabinet and the police staff would have been none wiser. It would have been Duke. And I am saying, this is all in the name. It would be the knowledge. Thank you. 
of someone in not the to know that the, the commitment was not going to go. The commissioner of police, because I, as an organization, based on what was in the public domain, I had already, Gary Griffith will not be appointed commissioner of police again. And if I belong to a I believe that members of a country also took that from the cabinet. So I am saying, someone in the cabinet who is close to Gary Griffith, knew that Gary Griffith was not going to be appointed again. So, all the legal came about. So, all the stuff people talking and trying to tell the moral high road about the president and the political commission and whatnot. Gary Griffith needs to tell us whether he was aware that the legal notice was in place so he could have prevented the regular the parliament for him to become commissioner. Thank I you. Thank, Thank you. I want to say this. Paula, hold on, right? I, yeah, want to, I want to say this. And without a shadow of a doubt, everybody who have... Let me take that back. I want to say this, Trin and Tobago. Clearly, we could see that Gary Griffith was using the post of commissioner as a stepping stone into bigger shoes into the politics. You see, when he made the statement that he was more popular than the prime minister, he allowed that to go to his head to make him believe that he could become prime minister at Trinidad Tobago. Go ahead, call her. Pastor Google, let me ask you a question, eh? And I'm beating on no bush. If you go going for a job in a, in, a, in a company or wherever you're going for that job, and you have friends sitting on that committee to pick your name out, what is that? Eh? You are your friends and person to pick your name out of the committee. Let me go back to the commissioner of police now. Everybody was hippie Gary. No, I wanted Win Hedge because I know this man is about discipline. I know Win Hedge was about total discipline. Everybody hippie Gary was doing such a lovely work. Yes, he was coming out wrong carnival time and walking wrong and thing and you out there with him and them. But to me, a lot of wrong things was going on still on here, Gary. And Gary need to tell them about the actual senior policeman who came in from America. And give him the information what to do. Ask him if do he know a senior policeman come into Trinidad and was giving him information what to do. And is some of those policy, is some of those policy that guy policy? That was the question Gary needs to answer to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. If he had friends, who was on the committee to pick the names them too? He need to answer these questions. We not to know. You know I just attack Dr. Rowley when Dr. Rowley is doing foolishness. But this man, we know what's going on on the internet. And we see a lot of cover-up matters will come before him and just cover up. The pink hair man was one of them. All right. We have a lot of things. Have a blessing. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, please, I'm so grateful to express. Thank God. You are hearing people saying, people speaking. You're hearing clarity. I mean, it, 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 it's been a while since I've heard somebody like um, Watchman when he spoke there just now. Excellent, excellent. Thank God, and, and this country needs more like that where we can hear clear tone and diction and speech, people speaking, and not just rattling and rambling, ranting on and on like you're crazy, you know. But, um, Pastor, I was wondering a little while back there, did you have a little comedy section or something? Um, G, 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 G. 
Anyways, uh, take good care. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon, Pastor Guzette. I love to hear that lady speak out. <laughs> Pastor Guzette, I remember I had a friend which is deceased now. She had a dog, and all she had named the dog, Trust None. And I know why she had named the dog Trust None. She said, only God alone she trusts. She trusts no man. So that is why she named her dog Trust None. You understand? She said, because trust no one. Because trust is deceiving. Okay. All right. Have a good afternoon. Pastor Google, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Pastor Google, I'm watching a big screen here in, Bro in Brooklyn, but you're looking good. Pastor Google? Yes, sir. One time, Dr. Rowdy went to England. He called on the diaspora to come home and serve, apply to be commissioner of police. Watchman leave quite Africa and came home and applied to be commissioner of police. Pastor Google, I supported Watchman to be commissioner of police. And on top of that, Watchman is a Tobagonian. Pastor Google, they gave him thunder. Who gave him thunder? Pastor Google. What was Mr. Watchman? Eh? What was Mr. Watchman's rating on the list? What is you know? Yeah. Just like how we know that guy was I fought don't on know. The, Just like how we know that guy was fought on the list. What, what, what was Mr. Watchman's right. name? What, where he was on the list? I don't know what was his rating. Okay, what was Mr. Dulchan? Dulchan list name was on the list. list. I ain't got a clue. Oh, okay then. Thanks very much. Leave it there. You want but to pass, call? But pass no, 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 leave it there because you're you're calling in to 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 make a point, and you don't even know the merit list. Where was Gary on the merit list? Fought. Where was Mister Watchman on the merit list? You don't know. Where was Dulal Chan on the merit list? You don't know. But you're calling in, you know, to make a point, and that's what I say. I don't want to say nothing because when I say, when I go and I say. They go say I say and how I say it. They don't like how I say it. So you might want to get somebody else my time. So I'm going to hush my mouth and take my calls. Because I remember interviewing Gary Griffith right here. But I wasn't here. I was in England. And all right. these questions I was asking Rowley Jr. And everybody okay. fine. I was too rough on him. Because I, I was so passionate about it. Because I was getting the questions from a rep. And remember, I was saying I was getting the questions from a lawyer. And he was saying that I was a Bush lawyer. You remember that? And it was a lawyer from the UK. Let me hush my mouth. Make your book contribution, sir. Pastor Google, you're totally correct. You're totally correct. And especially... But the leave that guy, you know, a lot of things we had in our context. And, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you just reflect on what you, what your contributions were at the time. And people, of course, you know, even me, I, 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 I push it in the way that, that um, I supported Gary for Commissioner of Police. And Gary for Griffith, Gary Griffith is a disingenuous man, eh? Because he just raised a point there about being fought on the left. And he became Commissioner. Now, it has been bandied about that in the, re um, in the previous review here, he's number one on the list. So, where he's number one, he finds he should be commissioner. But where he was fought, he never thought that hey, the option should be given to the person who came first. And I wanted people to listen, go back to on YouTube and listen to the debate when the Prime Minister, Dr. Rowley, stood in that parliament and said, hey, we want this man. Behavior. I keep telling people, you see a behavior? You could be qualified wherever the behavior stands out. And I'm telling you that we can fight up now with somebody new. Gary Griffith has no behavior. And that's his problem. And the news media promoting is nonsense. Why? Wait. I can't yeah. get away with that statement. Why yeah. you think they're promoting is nonsense? Well, that's the whole thing about it. You see, Pastor Google, I out there, you know. There's a hate for Dr. Rowley out there, you know. Even though there's no replacement, you know. 
But that's a replacement with, with, as, as, as an alternative, you know. There's a hint for Dr. Rowley in, in relation to... The trainees don't understand policies and governance. Trainees study the demeanor. Dr. Rowley is a full man. They, they find it dates and he rough and he... That's let, me you, you know? let me tell you why. Because a mm -hmm. friend of mine sent me a message. Who is in the media? Well, yeah. And hear what he said to me. Mm -hmm. you, well, you could say all what you want. At the end of the day, Gary PR, you see his PR? Yeah. You see whoever guided him in, his, in, 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 in getting his message out there? Let me tell you how Gary is bright and smart. He right. keep friends with everybody in the media. I was telling Aisha Wells the other day, every right. single day, as somebody in the media, Gary sends you a message. You hear me? Right. Gary yes. makes sure that he keeps friends with people in the media. While we in the media had to fight. Anyway, you see me? You're not going to make me say what I'm not supposed to say. I, I understand. I understand. I don't, I don't have to say it. All right. I, I understand. Yes. Okay. Listen. Thank you, eh? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Yeah, but Thanks, eh? <laughs> don't get me trouble. Don't, talk. <laughs> don't get me trouble. Please, don't get me no trouble. Yeah, I don't want to get in trouble. Leave me alone. Well, yeah. Yeah, have a good you day, know. sir. You have a blessed <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> you see me? Let me look to leave this chair. Bishop Aaron is coming up next. Let me find a song to play. Because we don't understand, and I keep seeing it. I said it here the other day, you know. Social media. The masters of social media is going to convert the minds of the masses, you know. Well, they don't understand that. The, listen to me again. The minds of the masses, if you don't captivate them by social media, you're going to lose out. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You're going to have to come back in. Because that person sent you a message, failed to tell you the media could break you and ah. they could make you. The media could make you and they could break you. And as far as I am seeing, the media is using Gary for news. Thank you. Right? And Gary does not understand. Gary is mistaking that for love from the media. The media doesn't love anybody. The media doesn't have any friends. The media is there to get headlines. I have to leave it there. I have to leave it there. The ads are big. All right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Every Friday, it's all about Firewood Soccer Fridays with MCU Consulate Takochi from 6 straight to 9 p.m. Blazing all the latest and past soccer hits. So remember, make it a line. Make it a day. Rock and come, you know. It's all about Firewood Soccer Fridays on the Street 919 FM. Don't know. Tune into the street at 919 FM this and every Thursday for the program Conscious Talk. Conscious Talk. Where we are at and where we are going with Steve Antoine as regards the land space for the celebration of Emancipation Day. Every Thursday from 1025 a.m. to 1055 a.m. It's Conscious Talk on the street 919 FM. <laughs> Shop at New City Mall and check out our premium selection of high-quality clothing and accessories for men and women. Save on all items with competitive prices and courteous service throughout the entire mall. New City Mall is located in the heart of Port of Spain with entrances at 3 Charlotte Street and number 41 Independence Square. We offer a variety.